times have Democrats and their press toadies declared that Trump's presidency was on the ropes? It seems like every other day, self-righteous anchors with very serious faces tout a fictitious White House and crisis story. And this fake news runs the gamut from the trivial, well, the president's angry and isolated, his staff is miserable, to the more serious. You can't fire Comey for the wrong reasons. You can't fire him to stop an investigation. I think this is a crisis for the country. Blah, blah, blah. It's always the beginning of the end. Now, remember the dire predictions about Don Jr.'s meeting in the Trump Tower with a Russian lawyer? He should be concerned even more so than he should be concerned for himself, because Donald Trump Jr. does have some legal exposure here. And I think they're shocked that the noose is tightening the, and that people might go to jail. You're exactly right. For the that rest of their lives. The noose is tightening. One of my favorites was the frenzy surrounding the prospect that the Trump presidency hinged on the words of his former attorney, Michael Cohen. If this Michael Cohen evidence stands up, if Michael Cohen does testify to this, this is potentially huge. This is potentially something that can prove the president colluded, and that is an, that is an impeachable offense. Go, Max Headroom. And who could forget the goofballs predicting that a story peddled by a porn star would topple Trump? If Stormy Daniels comes out, that, and it seems to be credible, that in and of itself would bring down this presidency. Oh, Donnie. Of course, throughout all of it was the media's massive, heart-pounding buildup of the Mueller probe. We're seeing that the collusion piece of this, piece by piece, starting to be built out. The president mm. does look like someone who is increasingly desperate. And the crisis cliches never stop. It feels like we are finally at a tipping point. The walls are closing in on President Trump. Closing in? But always wrong, never in doubt, and never a correction or a mea culpa. Their goal from day one has been to drive Trump out of office, the facts be damned. And in the past 48 hours, the Get Trump gang did their hype and hyperbole act all over again. Now, first was the news of the State Department IG's urgent meeting with House lawmakers. Wiley Coyote was finally going to catch the roadrunner. That means that something is in those documents that he thinks it's really important that the people who are doing this impeachment inquiry see immediately. Immediately, this is really important. Or not so much. I don't really know the relevance of it. At a certain point, it's hard to follow. There's nothing in here, I think, that's directly relevant to uh, the president's impeachable conduct. Horses filed again! Drat. At first, you don't succeed. Hype, hype again. Democrats were salivating on air and off about today's testimony by Kurt Volker. They thought his resignation, which was forced as Ukraine envoy, meant that meeting somehow on Capitol Hill would be a blockbuster. Instead, it was another dud. Has said nothing that. Um Nothing that coincides with what the Democrats are saying with their whole impeachment narrative. Ambassador Volker, unbelievably knowledgeable about what was going on in Ukraine. As for impeachment himself, Mr. Impeachment, Adam Schiff, he seemed today oddly quiet. What did you learn today? Uh, we won't have any comments about the interview until it's concluded. He has comments about comments. You can't stop him from talking. Suddenly today, Cat had his tongue. Now, this would be funny if it weren't so serious. Democrats are doing the equivalent day after day of yelling fire in a crowded theater. And that theater is America. This is doing enormous damage to the country. And as for the press, they lost their credibility a long time ago. Not sure they can go any lower, but they're trying. All the president needs to do now is smile and keep delivering results and watch the hype and hyperbole machine self-combust. And that's the angle.